Ta-da! This is my first attempt. So this is an interesting story. I asked um, people that if they had any photos of Spain that they had taken to please send them to me and I would try, if I saw one that I really liked, I would try and do, um, I would try and do a painting of it. And um, two people have actually sent me some lovely photos. So um, I actually tried to print this off, but the printer wasn't working very well. And look at this. <laughs> ah, a bit strange, right? Uh, ran out of ink. Um, so anyway, this place is called, just a minute, Trevor Joe. Now that's wrong because uh, letters like J have a different pronunciation and H's and it's Cassere. I will learn how to pronounce this or I will pronounce it better in the future. So this place I think is on the western side of Spain, uh, right next to Portugal. And it's like somewhere, um, if there's a borderline between Portugal, it's roughly I think in the middle of that borderline. So that's roughly where the place is. Now, although I'm happy, fairly happy with this painting, especially these rocks, I think it's a little boring. I think it, it's not quite there. So I was going to play around with it, but first of, first of all, I thought I'd talk, I'd talk about it with you and let you into the creative process and tell you what I was going to do. So I do think the sky is a bit, a bit too bland. If I make this area more complicated or a bit more detailed, then that might not be such a problem. Maybe if I make this building a bit higher, that might be good as well. But what I thought would work really well is if I darken. Yeah, so with the sky, I might make this red a bit higher and this yellow a bit higher and then the blue up here. And I think that might make the sky just a bit more interesting. Um, and for this area here, it's, a, it's okay, but it's a little bit bland. So what I might do is, after I've painted all this, do another wash on the building and go a bit darker and then try to blend it in to the surroundings and see how that goes. Um, that, that will be interesting. I'm not sure if I can do that. And I, I might make this whole area darker. And perhaps I need to do something like make this a bit bluer um, and also soften this. That will give more of a sense of distance, yeah? Um, so a few exciting things to do and hopefully we can make it work and maybe lift this whole thing up a bit higher. So that's what I'm going to try and do and I'll get back to you in a minute and show you what I've ended up with. Okay, bye for now. Hello, Gareth here. So I did some painting and I've done the second picture. But what I did before that was on some scrap paper, I just practiced playing with this foreground and experimenting with the colors and doing oranges and blues and purples like this, just to just to see what I could achieve. So experiments like that. Here's another one. So yeah, that one looks a bit crazy, but I kind of like it. And um, over the top of a failed painting, um, here's another one. And this is the next one that I did. So, ta-da. So in some ways, it's a bit wrong because I added all these rocks and although I quite like them, it's a bit wrong. This is, there's actually a, a kind of flat space here and then a few rocks around this flat area. Um, but still, I like it. One thing I did with these rocks is I dropped blue 
into the wet paint or cobalt green and I think that looked nice. Um, like I said, I, I would do a fainter blue mountain. I'd make the sky lighter and bluer at the top. I think that's kind of good. Maybe this building is too orange at the top. I'm not sure. So if you look at the original one, I think there's something about the original one that's more real and more honest. And then this one is a bit more, I'm not sure what. <laughs> so I don't think it's time to finish just yet. Is there somewhere between these two paintings a picture that I can paint? Because I think this has something. I really like the shape of the rocks in this one. I think there's not too many and it works well. And just, it is a bit monotonous, but I think it, it still works well. Whereas this one is a bit maybe too colourful, a bit too over the top, and it needs to be muted a bit. So I'm going to try and get it somewhere between the two of them. Um, and it might be nice to add some figures, but I'm not sure yet quite how to do that. And that might add some direction to the picture. I think here there's too much difference. You can see too much difference in things. Maybe you like that, I'm not sure. Um, and I think I want to make this foreground area a little bit different in some areas, like some areas a bit lighter, maybe here, just here, but then the rest of it mostly dark. Yeah, and more subtle, like, like the way this one is. So I'm going to try and do that and see what happens. I think this sky is good. I might try and make it even redder at the bottom, really go over the top because maybe I'll push that and see what we can do. But I like these long stretched out clouds. I think they're nice. You don't have to have them. And maybe this in the foreground, maybe this one should be even darker somehow. So I might try and make this one, well, make another painting with even darker in the foreground. See how that works out. So there you go. Um, I'm off now to do the next painting. And then I'm off to bed. <laughs> Hello, I'm back and a few days have passed. So I um, was doing this painting and to be honest, I've, I've done a few more paintings now. And when I look at this, I think it's pretty good. I like the way this whole foreground and even this mountain behind they all merge together. Um, so the first one might even be my best one. So after that, I made the changes I was talking about. So I lifted, I made the sky a lot more yellower, just a bit of blue at the top. And then um, I, I made the building lighter and I added more colour in the foreground. I, I quite like this, um, but I think the first one is better. It just looks more powerful. This is a bit too light. Maybe I should um, play around with this mountain in the distance and make it a bit darker. Anyway, after that, I just did some uh, sketching, uh, watercolour sketching of the building, just playing around. And this is just fun. I mean, I'm not even trying here, but when I look at these, I quite like them. Yeah, I, I, I just think they're fun. So again, just doing some playing around with different colours. Oh, yeah, and here's another one. And I do like the way of, like with the first painting, having the building just merging, just blending into the, into the foreground. That, that looks 
good and like the suggestion of rocks is nice yeah and here's another one not so yeah wouldn't want to live there um and another one <laughs> um i like these splodgy things just practicing and getting a feeling for the subject and then back to a more serious painting so what i did on this one was had these lines going across and i quite like that and um, i made these rocks a bit more colorful by adding blue or green to them and i like that but it's it's nice but i'm i still feel maybe the first one was better this is fun but hmm, maybe it's too artificial i don't know sorry got lots of police cars going past or something <laughs> what happened okay so uh and then another go and here with the colors maybe i i kind of made it not so intense i did these clouds a bit more intense though and yeah i i quite like that i think that's quite nice so that was another attempt oh yeah i did this sky here much stronger orange I wanted a bigger contrast between the orange at the bottom of the sky and this cool blue mountain in the distance. So that's that was important for me in this painting. So I, and I do quite like that. Hmm. And I think this is my final one. So yeah i think this is it's it's okay i think the intense red in the previous painting was better um and i think these rocks the gaps between them are too evenly spaced so i think that looks a bit strange so i'm, I'm not sure that works quite so well but there you go so i had a go at this subject and I'm quite happy with the results um, but I think my first one and this one are the best ones but it was really really fun to paint this scene I really really enjoyed doing it and I think in the future I would love to have another go I even wonder if I could turn this into a snow scene and use it as a Christmas card that might look good but anyway I think that's maybe my favorite and the very first one so I hope you found this interesting and that's all for this video bye for now this is definitely the final time so uh, I really didn't expect to do it but I did one more final painting and even looking at it now, what I wanted to do was have just a glowing bit here and then make it darker, really dark. Perhaps here a little, as dark as this, maybe even darker, but coming down here and the building, really dark. And to be honest, when I look at it, I feel like it's still not dark enough, but I think that's enough for now so this is to my future self if I ever paint this again I probably will because it's quite an interesting subject but to my future self paint this whole building darker underground and have this dark as well but slightly very slightly lighter very slightly and that purple color is very nice and then here have it much darker and I'm not sure about this maybe it's a bit too gray I'm not sure quite how how I would do that possibly blue or maybe a brown but 
I'm still happy with this. I'm still happy with it. Uh, one thing I did by accident was these white clouds. Can you see them? I'm really happy with them. That happened totally by accident. Um, when I was painting this building, I got some splatter and I had a few dots on the sky. And because the sky is so light and these dots were dark, they stuck out quite a bit. But I, and so I, I really wanted to remove them. And I found by getting some tissue and doing these thin lines for clouds that um, I could get rid of those marks and also make the sky even better. So just these little white lines, I think they look really, really nice. And I did them above these clouds as well. In a way that might be wrong because the sun has gone down. So really it should be the underside of those clouds that is like that. But I don't worry too much about things like that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should but there you go that's the final one it's been a lot of fun painting this maybe in a way I sort of failed because I do I did want this to be darker I, I really did want it to be darker but I'm still overall I think I've done a really nice painting uh, in some ways I do think that very first painting was was good maybe the best one but but I've learned a lot and I've had a lot of fun and the sky in this painting is amazing I really love the sky in this painting so I learned some really good stuff like that and I had a lot of practice at painting rocks and yeah it's still a nice painting so I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you understand a bit more about the creative process in painting and you no longer get so upset about your mistakes and you don't just do one painting but you you have another go and you have another go and uh, you change things and you play around with things and it just it will just make the whole thing a lot more fun and interesting so bye for now bye